So the M&P uh, 15 Sport 2 rifle is a great rifle right off the shelf. It's a great, uh, called a beginner AR, good foundation to build on if you want to customize like I did. I wanted several items to suit me and what I do. So let's just take a closer look at Margaret from front to back. On the business end, we have a dead air uh, suppressor. It's a Sandman S. It's one of my favorite suppressors. It's actually a 30 caliber suppressor. I use it on a lot of different rifles, uh, but I love to use it on Margaret here uh, because I want to protect my hearing uh, mainly. Uh, it, that's very important. If you don't shoot suppressed, give it a try. It's great. Also, it helps uh, keep from aggravating the neighbors and disturbing your animals as well. Um, the suppressor is mounted on a Lantac Dragon Chemo. The Lantac Dragon is a um, real serious muzzle device. Definitely helps it to shoot a little bit flatter, but it is quite loud. Um, I essentially hardly ever shoot this without my suppressor. So essentially I'm just using my Lantac Dragon for the chemo capabilities. For my handguard, you know, when I shoot, I like to shoot with an extended uh, C-clamp finger pointing grip. So um, the slimmer handguard works better for me. The original M&P handguard only came out about this far. And so that compromised my, my grip a little bit. I just, this is comfortable for me. This is the way I learned to shoot in competition in uh, multi-gun matches. And that's my personal preference. So this is a Midwest Industries uh, tactical free floating uh, handguard. It's very slim as you can see. It does have a little extra Picatinny on the, on the front and back if you need to use it for something, and I like it very much. I do have, you can see I've got a little Magpul QD mount here. Uh, if I wanted to take, by the way, this is a Vickers, um, Blue Force Gear Vickers Combat Sling, my favorite sling. Uh, I can mount it up front if I need to. It does come with integral QDs on either side here, and this is currently how I'm running the sling on the back uh, QD for this. So uh, underneath, we've got the original mid-length gas system, uh, Smith & Wesson M&P barrel. Nothing wrong with it, no reason to change it. It's a great barrel, I like it. One in seven twist, which is standard for uh, ARs these days. Let's talk about optics. I love this uh, Vortex Strike Eagle. There's so many good things about this optic. I love the BDC reticle. Um, you can range, you can hold over out to 600 yards. I have shot out to 600 yards with this. Uh, I have been able to um, accurately range out to 600 yards with this, and it doesn't take long. It comes with great instructions. It's illuminated reticle as well, so you can shoot at low, low light um, conditions. It's a one to six. I leave mine cranked up. Every once in a while, I crank it down to three. Usually it's on six. Uh, if I'm shooting close up, I'm using my Holosun 507 CX2, uh, which is a great CQB sight. Um, also, if I have to shoot around a, a hard lean to the right around a barrier in competition, or if I'm shooting up close, I go to my Holosun. It's really easy to transition between the two sights, just with a little rotation, as you can see. It's a great sight, 50,000 hours of battery time, shake awake. Uh, can't say enough good things about this Holosun 507. I really like it. I actually run this on a couple different platforms. Uh, grip, I've got a Bravo Systems uh, B5 grip here. I believe it's a B5. Really makes that grip angle comfortable. The original AR uh, gri A2 style grips have a little more of an extreme angle. This is very comfortable for me. Feels more like a pistol. Feels more like uh, my handguns that I'm shooting. Makes it very comfortable. I've got a Geisley SSAE uh, trigger here. It's an enhanced competition trigger. It's a two-stage trigger because this is an all-around gun for me. I don't just use it for bench rest. Uh, I like two-stage triggers if I'm going hunting. If I want to take up the slack, change my mind, I can let off. It does break very crisp and cleanly at about uh, two, point, uh, two and three quarter pounds, I think, the last time I weighed it and uh, runs great. By the way, this mount is a Keystone Industries uh, cantilever mount. I've used a lot of different mounts. This is just one that I had handy. It works great. It's pretty heavy duty uh, and I can clamp it on pretty tight. Um, not sure what my offset is, uh, but I've got it, got it working good for me with my Holosun. On the inside, I'm running the original Smith & Wesson uh, mil-spec bolt carrier group. Nothing wrong with it. Runs great. Uh, I've got a Radian Raptor SD uh, charging handle. Uh, the SD charging handle actually helps redirect those gases. By the way, it's ambidextrous. So, you know, 
there's several different ways you can use charging handles. You can use the, the snake fangs, you can palm it, you can run it from either side if it's ambi. And uh, these, these cool radians will redirect that gas because that suppressor is going to push extra gas toward your face. This will redirect it away from your face. And I love the Radian Raptors. That's usually one of the first things I do with an off-the-shelf uh, AR. Uh, for my buffer, I'm running the Michelic Magnetic Buffer. I've run a lot of different buffers. Um, I did some t &E on this and we made some uh, content on that. This is actually the rifle that you saw me using when we did the Michelic Magnetic Buffer video with me shooting Margaret off the running horse. If you haven't seen that, check it out. It's pretty cool. Moving back to the uh, buttstock here, this is the Mission First Tactical Minimalist. My favorite um, AR stock. I love these stocks. Uh, they are, uh, they're adjustable, but they're not bulky. Uh, they're set up for um, easy rotation for your cheek weld. Uh, so it has the same feel here for my offset as it does for my primary optic. Um, it's not bulky. It's got a QD. You can see I've got my sling attached to it, which is a really nice feature. It also has these extra slots, so you can slot mount your uh, sling. There's all kinds of mounts uh, for it. Uh, it's very easy to mount up with body armor as well because it's a little, um, little less bulky. So I love that uh, Mission First Tactical buttstock. So uh, I think that's about it, guys. This is Margaret from front to back. Ain't she pretty?